It's great to say that the great man is joining us in the studio today. How are you, Good mate? to be here, guys. Yeah, thanks for having me. Now, I'll tell you what, Lordo's just been like... He's been like a cat on oh, a hot tin roof. He's nervous. He's been very nervous. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, I was a bit intimidated by Campbell back in the day, but we, uh, we, I reckon we squared up. We have. Yeah, long we time have. ago. Yeah, long time ago. He's still okay. nervous, though. <laughs> oh, I know he is, yeah. We'll get to that in just a moment. But you talk about, you know, like intimidation. Mm. There was no one more intimidating on the footy field and sometimes off it than your dad, Mel. Uh, of course, one of the inaugural members he of was. the Sunday Footy Show. How's he gave going? you a job, didn't he? Fantastic. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he gave you a job. <laughs> well, apparently so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's going well. He's aged a bit. Looks a bit more like uh, Clive Palmer. <laughs> <laughs> How old is he now? Uh, I think he'd be turning 76 this year or 77, yeah. Right, and can you were telling me off here what he's doing in his uh, downtime at the moment. Yeah, he, he's down uh, handing out how to vote cards for the Liberals <laughs> in, uh, for the seat of uh, was I think it Flinders. Flinders, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> pretty passionate about his politics. <laughs> Oh, are you going to contribute? Are you going to say oh, something? I'm just about to. But well, go on. You don't need to look at me and ask me if we're going to contribute. Well, you could drive a now, truck. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's another column coming up, I think, about <laughs> tension on the show. <laughs> and the Hawthorne Essendon rivalry was massive. I mean, it went from the line in the sand game, and it still goes now. Hawthorne and Essendon genuinely dislike each other. This is the great vision here, and it got willing this day, didn't it? Yeah, it certainly did. Um, that's sort of, uh, for Hawthorne, the, the day that we, we stood up to Essendon and, and tried to turn things around, they'd been flogging us for the best part of eight or nine years, 14 games in a row and went on to win that game pretty comfortably um, but they're pretty willing scenes I call it the last great melee of the AFL, we haven't really seen anything like that. Since. Simon Beaumont and Justin Murphy were planning on going out for dinner that night and uh, <laughs> belt the suit, living suitcase out of each other and obviously that was the last one where uh, oh, this oh, went on. Oh, 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 yeah, I actually oh, hurdled. I actually hurdled uh, <laughs> slowly there. And, um, maybe the, the broken ice socket was for me not lifting my legs high enough. Oh, here we go. What's his name the, there, Lordo? Uh, I can't remember, but uh, nah, I was willing. <laughs> I can't remember. Well, I think, Brownie, you said something. You'd, you'd better not retire, didn't you? Oh, I said that after the game. Yeah. yeah I, I did know he was going to retire at that yeah. point, so we were just trying to trying to uh, screw up and then Essendon got well in front and our season was pretty much done and dusted so we put the queue in the rack. So, so looking at that Brownie, now that you're not allowed to put their arms out to the umpires and things like that, the way that it's changed in a short period, how do you view the game now? I, I enjoy the game still, I love it, um, obviously you know, that sort of behaviour uh, doesn't really occur too much anymore, I think the you know, the descent rule and that sort of stuff is uh, a bit of a joke, to be honest. I um, thought it ruined Friday night's game um, when, you know, Collingwood were just making their run and, you know, Dugowie does that. And 50-metre uh, penalty goal and, and game over. I think there's a big difference between, you know, descent, demonstrative behaviour and just putting your hands out and pointing at the ground. OK, well, this isn't demonstrative behaviour. This is you at your best. And uh, I'll tell you what, you, you look back now and you think to yourself, I went all right, didn't I? I just... I was well coached, I was in a very good side and I just tried to uh, play my role and play as well as I possibly could for the team so yeah there's um, the, the players these days are, are pretty skillful but I still think it's the, the sides that are the most disciplined and well coached that win the games You had an impact on that day in 2008 then went to the Gold Coast Suns and, and they're still to experience anything like the success that you were wanting to have them set up to, to feel yeah, uh, they've been disappointing. There's no doubt about that. Um, from the franchise, I've, I've been well publicised in saying I don't think it was set up uh, as well as it possibly could be in the, in the early years. Um, and they're just starting to, to get going a bit now. I love the fact that they've got some real soul. You know, I've always called them a soulless footy club. But uh, now with some of their, their leaders, you know, Collins, Took Miller, um, you know, Raoul, Ainsworth, you can tell that they really buy into that footy club now. They need strong leadership and, and they need to turn it around. But um, I think they can do it. Stuart Juice still the man? Um, well, Alistair Clarkson is waiting in the wings, isn't he? And, uh, and Dewey's a former premiership teammate of mine. He's done a pretty good job. But uh, if Steve Jobs um, wants, to, wants your, your job at a tech company, um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure there'd be no bother to knock him back. <laughs> OK. Uh, <laughs> if we were recording this, we'd probably just cut that. Out. But anyway, That's no. Good. But as you say, Stu is a good mate of yours and he's a good fella all around, so we'd hope that uh, he might hang on in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes when you ask a question, you regret it and you think, oh, yeah. of course. Uh, we got a joke? Anyway, um, yeah, well, of course, Lou was one of your dad's great mates on the Sunday footy show, and uh, you'd remember growing up watching his jokes. So let's uh, delve into the vault now, and here's one of Louis's finest. Got a gag? Yeah, why don't you call a person lies in the middle of a tennis court? What? Annette. <laughs> oh! <laughs> there we go. That's all right. 
<laughs> yeah, killing him, kid. You killed him. Not his yeah, best one, I would have thought. No, no, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Uh, maybe do you remember I'll... me coming in as like a 10, 11, 12 year old each Sunday yeah. to, for, for this? Yeah, absolutely. It's good. So. And now, look, you come back and, uh, you know, you're a hero in your own right. So let's see if you can pull off some heroics <laughs> now. You got no, five, five, the target. Target. five on the right hand, five on the left. All right. Seven. 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 Going well. 7, 21. Consistent. Needs a 10. 7, 28. And 7 is 35. All right, Lordo. How are you feeling, mate? Lordo. 7. Good start. Strong start. 7. 5. 7, that was. 5 for 12. 7 for 19. Needs a 10, Lordo. 7, 26. And a seven is 30. All right. It's all tied up after five. Hang on, is it tied okay, up? It's 33, 35. I think it's 33. 33, 35. Yeah, it was a seven. No, I think I'm pretty sure it was a five, Lordo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, actually, that's not me saying that, Lordo. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. That's no, right. Campbell's no, 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 no. Left hand Campbell. Punch on him. Seven. 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 Good hands, Damon. Bullseye. 49. Oh. Seven is 56. Seven Jeez. is 63. Oh, and seven is 70. You need a bullseye somewhere, no, Lordo. We, we can't get a replay of that earlier one at Lordo, can we? Just so we... Uh... Oh, Ten, oh, Lordo, yeah. three. Game on. Go. Seven is 50. Hit the ball burn. Seven is 57. Oh. Two to come, Lordo. What's he need, Brownie? Two sevens will do it. Oh, there's seven. one. Sorry. He needs a seven to win by a point. And oh! Lord, oh, 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 the score situation there, Kane? Well, he doesn't win the 10 grand, but he's <laughs> oh, second. Oh, he doesn't need it. You negotiate that. Very competitive, <laughs> Campbell Brown. So yeah. You're a lucky, Brownie, because you robbed me of two earlier. So I've only lost by one. I know. Yeah, can I just put on the record? I thought it was a seven, but I was yeah. just. Uh, <laughs> did you? Did you? <laughs> I, was expecting, I was expecting to lose today because snipers are meant to be accurate. <laughs> Sunday footy show. Very good. There's love in the air, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>